I would like to shout out to Wanna Cook for sending me this story involving this con artist right here, Patrice Colors. Now, I've done a video about her in the past, and, um, and there were some other stories that came out recently about her <clears throat> concerning the money and the mishandling of the money that she's been dealing with when it came to BLM as far as I am concerned. But this new article just came out on the 19th of June where apparently there was this nonprofit organization that was tied to her where they failed to disclose a lot of donations that they received. Basically, they said they received this certain amount of donations, but it turns out that they received way more than they claimed to have received. So now, again, people are asking, where did the money go? My bet into her account, into her home. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article. A nonprofit organization started by Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors reportedly brought in hundreds of thousands of dollars in 2016, but claimed not to have made more than 50000 that year. Dignity and Power Now, a group that Cullors set up in 2013 to help black and minority prisoners, brought in at least $225,000 in 2016, but only disclosed $50,000 to the IRS. That's a very small fraction of 200. That's a very small fraction compared to the entire amount. Since the group only reported 50000 it did not have to file a complete or complete a return or outline all of its spending and donations. Colors is listed as the founder on Dignity and Power Now's website. This woman is the con artist of the year so far that I've seen. Los Angeles-based Resnick Foundation gave the organization $100,000 and California Initiative gave the group $125,000 according to the Post. Dignity and Power Now also reportedly did not disclose its donation to the California Attorney General, which regulates charities in the state. On Friday, the National Legal and Policy Center, a conservative watchdog group, filed complaints calling on the IRS and the California AG to audit dignity and power now its finances. Color stepped down from the Black Lives Matter organization and made amid questions about the organization, organization's finances. That was the other topic that I wish I had spoke on at the time. But yeah, she is no longer the uh, in the position that she was once was. And ironically, she steps down from that position after she got exposed. Color's finances drew attention in April after the New York Post reported that she had purchased four homes for $3.2 million. The report prompted Hawk Newsom, the head of Biosmatic Grid in New York City, to call for an independent investigation into the foundation's finances. The two organizations are not affiliated. Critics have pointed out that Colors bought the high-end homes despite referring to herself as a trained Marxist in the past. In April, the foundation disclosed that Colors had received a total of $120,000 in compensation from 2013 to 2019. At the time, Cullis said allegations that she enriched herself through donations meant for Black Lives Matter were categorically untrue. She denied that she received a salary from the foundation asserting that her income come from other sources, such as proceeds from book sales and a YouTube deal. It's funny, we never hear about the income coming from those two sources. We hear the income coming from other places that she claims that don't exist. Such as this, what I'm talking about right now. This is my first time learning about this. I didn't know she had another project. Colors could not be immediately reached for comment. The Resnick Foundation and California Initiative also did not respond to Fox News. Like I said, this woman is a snake. That's what should be tatted on her, on her forehead, is a snake. Because that's exactly what she is. That adds on to even more reason why us black people can't mess with BLM like that, because this woman is a whole fraudstress. Like, she's literally been robbing people blind. Like, people will say that they agree with the statement or the slogan that is Black Lives Matter, but the organization itself is trash. And it's mainly because of people like her, all of the founders, to be quite honest, but mainly her. Like, she seems to be the one that has gives out the most issues like you don't really hear about the other two too much but this one right here we see we see all we see what she's all about and of course she's a part of the academy okay whatever but then you know she bought that home away from the niggas in that area i think it was called topanga california i never heard of it 
She made sure to get some fences put up because now people know where she lives or whatever the case may be. All that stuff about her buying the homes. Now this. This woman is a schemer. She deserves to get the, uh, what's his name? The Bernie Madoff treatment. And it also makes it seem like she's been, she's real plantish or real agent-ish. Like she was put there for a reason. And then uses the, de the, the deceased black male bodies in order to get what she wants. She is garbage. She is one of the worst people walking this planet. Truthfully and utterly, honestly, she just is. And what's sad is that you have many more people like her out in the world. I just did a video about this black couple that literally milked millions of dollars out of people through a Ponzi scheme. I hate when I have to come across stories when people who look like you con those who look like them. Not saying it would be better if it happened from anybody else because that's still messed up either way. But at the same time, these people thinking that they're given to something that's for a cause. And meanwhile, in the back end, you have ulterior motives. And the thing is, not enough people are pressuring her to speak about this. Like, they'll have people try to get a comment out of her, but she's not saying anything. This heifer knows she's guilty of the stuff that she's doing with that money. They just need her to actually say it. Of course, she's going to maintain her innocence. But you know what? I feel like the more she keeps trying to shield the fact of what she's doing with this money, the more and more is going to come out. Because like I said, I didn't even know this happened. And I hope they dig and they find even more about her.